Well, while some parents are worried about sending their kids back to school tomorrow, our live team coverage continues now with Fox 35's Dave Puglisi. Dave, the superintendent says more police will be on campus. Luann, and there will be and throughout the rest of the week. And that's hopefully will help parents and students who still feel on edge tonight. The school is doing everything they can to help ease their minds. She called me, the mommy, they are shooting, then I come. That's enough to have any parent on edge. For parents at Seminole High, their worst nightmare played out with their children caught in the middle. Three dudes ran out and they were screaming at us to run. And also, a lot of us heard the shot. So we run to the front. Now that the threat is over, school officials are ready to get back into the classroom. School will go forward tomorrow as normal. This was a, an isolated event, and we'll make sure that our counselors are there to support both our students and our staff. In addition, there'll be extra law enforcement on hand for the rest of the week to accompany the school SROs. There's three Seminole County, or actually Sanford PD, rather, um, resource officers on campus every day, um, beginning and end of school um, each day. And so that helps with situations like this. Parents are also hoping the school takes another look at campus safety. It's just, the school is just too open. Um, there's too many interests to get in. Um, and then there's not enough staff. And then with two campuses within each other, it's too spread out. Some students echoing that thought as they try to rationalize the violence. I don't think nobody should be going to school tomorrow whatsoever. And if anything, more security. The lockdown lasted about three hours before the students were reunited with their parents. The parents say that they're extremely thankful for the school's communication during this entire process. And hopefully things will be here a lot better here tomorrow. In Sanford, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.